Today we're going to make chocolate ganache. It's a really simple and easy way to play with chocolate and you can do all kinds of things with it. Ganache is just a combination of chopped chocolate and warm cream. So the first step is to chop the chocolate. You want to chop it as fine as you can um, and I'm going to show you a little trick how to do that. I always chop chocolate with a serrated knife. It kind of grabs the chocolate and makes it flake off in easy pieces so you can get it done a lot faster. So just kind of start at the edge. Just take your big serrated bread knife or what have you and just kind of run it down and you can see it just kind of flakes the chocolate right off. Save you a lot of work. All right, so once the chocolate is chopped, I'm just going to put all of it into a heat safe bowl. So I'm just going to pick this up and kind of drop it right in there. And you can use a glass or a metal bowl, you just want something that's heat proof. So this is one pound of chocolate. I use semi sweet. You can use bittersweet. If you use milk or white chocolate, the ganache will be a lot softer, so you might want to use a little less cream. And then this is just one cup of cream that's been heated almost to boiling, but not quite. All I'm going to do is just pour that cream over the chocolate. Then let that sit for five to ten minutes. Okay, this has been sitting for five minutes, so now I'm just going to stir it until it's smooth. All right, that's all there is to it. Now the ganache is ready to use. One of the easiest ways to use ganache is to make homemade chocolate truffles. This ganache has been chilled in the refrigerator just till it's set and all you have to do is just scoop a little out. You can see it's set up but it's still pretty soft. Just scoop some with a spoon and just take it into your hand and just roll it into a ball. Oops, roll it into a nice smooth little ball. And then you're going to want to coat it with something because obviously it's kind of sticky. You can use, I have some cocoa powder here, some coconut, I have some chopped pistachios. You can use all kinds of different things to uh, coat your truffles. I'm going to do one of each. So I'm going to pop this one into the cocoa powder and I'll do a couple of more. You could use candy sprinkles to coat your truffles, all kinds of things. If you wanted to coat your truffles in more chocolate, um, you could do that, but unless you're going to temper the chocolate, then you do want to consume them pretty quickly. Okay. You can see it's a little sticky, but that's okay. All right, so I've got my three different truffles. I'm going to do the coconut, and really you just toss it into the coating and that's it. Then you want to keep the finished truffles in the refrigerator until you're ready to eat them. I really like this one with the pistachios. I think that looks really cool. And then here is one in cocoa powder. Homemade truffles are a lovely gift you can give or a simple dessert if you're entertaining.